Hey everyone! So today for you all, I'm just going to be discussing my current beauty favorites. If you guys have noticed at all, I highly doubt it, but um, I haven't been doing my uh, monthly awesomes and awfuls or my monthly favorites videos. I have just felt like for the past couple of months, they've just been very bland. And typically what I do is whatever I hauled, I end up showing you guys. And I just feel like you know, that repetitiveness is just a little bit overboard. And so uh, I announced this on my Snapchat a little while back and no, it's like it's some big deal. Um, but I just kind of told you guys that I was going to stop with the monthly favorites and just do current favorites. And so I figured that I haven't done a monthly favorite since either January or February and it's now May. So I thought that this would be a good time to kind of just wrap up all the stuff that I've been, you know, loving over the past couple of months. And there are a lot of products here that I haven't talked about just because I haven't been doing, you know, my monthly repetitive favorites and I haven't always been hauling. But uh, anyway, with that, let's just get on into it. So I'm not going to go in any particular order here, although I do have some like non-makeup related favorites, so I think I might talk about those first. The first one here is sort of this beat up looking sample. This is from Origins. It's the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Uh, obviously if you buy the full size, it does come into like an actual tube. This is just a little guy. You can pick these up at Sephora. They have like a little kind of mask bar that has all these different they're samples, but they're very generous sized samples uh, of different Origins masks. So I kind of went through and I picked out a bunch of them, kind of just scooped up a handful. And this is one of the ones that I picked up. These are $4 a piece, which I, considering how many uses I think you can actually get out of one of these, I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, so far I have used this twice, and if you can see here in the back, I still have tons of product, that kind of creamy color that's all of the mask. So I really feel like this will actually take me a long ways, but Oh my gosh, as soon as I run out of this stuff, I'm definitely going to have to go run and get some more. I haven't realized how much I really enjoy an overnight mask. And, you know, sometimes when you're sleeping, they're a little bit weird because they're very sticky. You go all night looking super shiny and oily. But the way that these just make your skin feel when you wake up, you just feel so rejuvenated and refreshed. And this one in particular, I love because it is so moisturizing and I don't know why because typically in the summer I get more oily but I was just noticing like dry patches around my nose and around my eyes and overall my skin was just feeling very parched so that was why I picked up this and I was hoping that it would solve the problem it totally did and I'm not even kidding like overnight my nose dryness really really diminished um, my eye dryness completely went away and with continual use like I said I use this a second time this completely took care of the problem so if you have dry skin please 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 give this origins mask a try at least pick up the little sample guy it will last you a long time and it's fantastic and it also didn't break me out which is a plus the next product I have here is one that I picked up from Cosmo Prof a couple of months ago and the lady that was checking me out was super awesome and gave me like a bunch of these little like try me deluxe sample things and this is from Goldwell and it's a new line of shampoo and conditioner and just kind of hair care in general I do think they also have some styling products and this particular line is the Goldwell Kara Silk Color. So I was very interested in this because I have color treated hair, obviously, and I love things that are infused with keratin, especially because, you know, your hair really needs that, you know, balance of moisture and keratin. And I do a lot of masks and a lot of oils and stuff to my hair, so I feel like my hair is really good on the moisture, but it does need that protein treatment. So I decided to try these out. These are actually ones, obviously, this is a box that I haven't used yet, but I have tried gone through two of these now so she like totally stocked me up and gave me just a ton of these so this is the one that I'll move on to next after the one that's currently in my shower is out but what this little sample duo thing here is is it's the uh, carousel color intensive luster mask doesn't that just sound fantastic? And then the uh, shampoo. So I've been using this, you know, shampooing my hair with this and then following up with the mask and oh my goodness, <laughs> this stuff is so good. It smells amazing. It uh, really detangles your hair and just makes it silky and soft. I have not tried a mask for my hair that I've loved as much as this one. And I've tried a lot of hair masks because I'm kind of obsessed with, like I said, just adding all the moisture to my hair. But what's nice about this is that you do have the keratin, so you're going to get the balance so overall it's just really going to make your hair super healthy um, the shampoo is absolutely great it really does lather nicely it really seems to just take out all the buildup and all the grossness from the hair but for me the real star in this little duo was the mask because nothing in the entire world has made my hair feel as soft and look as shiny and as manageable as this has I can't even describe what kind of an amazing feeling this gives your hair because it's just 
it's so luxurious. You can also maybe see if you can find these from like an online retailer, but it is a professional hair product. So you might have to do some digging, but it is 100% completely worth it for this mask. Moving on to some makeup -y bits. The next product I have here is a pair of false eyelashes that I have kind of stored in their little uh, plastic container. These are from the Kiss oh my goodness, what are they called? Blooming Lashes, I think that's it. Uh, you can find these at Walgreens, and this is the style Daisy. This particular style is just a really nice, kind of flared out at the end, which you guys know I love. Um, you know, kind of wispy lash. The band on this is super thin and very comfortable, and the lash just adds a lot of length and a good amount of volume, but I just love that shape it gives my eye with the sort of flared at the ends. If you guys want to see what these actually look like on, my recent review video for the Fiona Styles Foundation, I was wearing these, and I did have some comments saying that you guys liked my eye look in it. So if you want to see what these kind of look like in action, you can go watch that video, but I am just really obsessed with these lashes. I seriously wanted to wear them with every single look I've been doing because I just love the way they make my eyes look. They're kind of dramatic, but they're very, very pretty and they're still soft and they're easy to wear. Another product that I've been loving is Max Fix Plus. And uh, it's been a while since I've had this. I owned it a really long time ago and then I switched to some other sort of makeup sprays. And then I came back to this one because I was just really looking for something that would take down my powderiness, that would make me look glowy, and also something I could use to foil eyeshadows, but I didn't necessarily want it to be like a setting spray. I don't really use actual setting sprays all that often just because I don't feel like I really need them. A lot of them do contain alcohol, so I find them to be kind of damaging and drying to the skin. And so this was kind of the answer to all the things I was looking for. And I remembered liking it, but I do not remember loving it this much. Like the fact that I went you know, a solid couple of years there in my life without this is mind blowing to me because this is such a fantastic spray. It just is so nice and the way that it makes your makeup look is fantastic. If you guys haven't tried this yet, get yourself up from under that rock and run over to your matte counter or online because this is a fantastic product and I would highly recommend it. Next I have a brush and this is a brush that I got in I think two months ago's BoxyCharm. It's the Luxie Beauty number 512 small contouring brush. I have been loving this for multiple things. I think that this could work well for blush. I think it works obviously very well for contour, but also works well for highlight. Um, I think that this is even a brush that I would go in and apply my foundation with because even though it's smaller, I actually like smaller buffing brushes for foundation. I find that it really allows me to get into all the different like crevices of the face and um, it just kind of gives you a very precise, like a very airbrushed appearance. So I really like this brush for so many different things. I have primarily been using it to contour because it just fits so perfect right there and you can really just get a very nice chiseled out but natural looking cheekbone from this. I have just been absolutely loving this brush. I definitely want to pick up more from Luxie um, next time that I want to make a brush purchase. I'm pretty happy with the brushes I have now but if I decide that I want more in the future, this is a brand that I would highly consider especially because this brush is so beautiful. It's got the rose gold ferrule, it's got the pink handle, it's everything that I want in life. It's so pretty and I like that it is also synthetic. I just tend to prefer synthetic brushes over natural hair and I think that they're easier to clean. I think that they're more hygienic and they just work better with a you know, bigger variety of products. So if you're looking for some good brushes, Luxie is an amazing brand to try. I would highly recommend them because this brush has just been everything to me. And especially if you're looking for a good contouring brush, definitely try this. I am just going to touch on this real fast, but if you guys do want more information, I do have a full review. This is the Fiona Styles Luminous finish foundation concentrate. This has been my go-to foundation for the past, I don't know, since I've had it now, so about a month or so. And I have just been continually enjoying it. And even, you know, amongst some of my other foundations, which I, you know, absolutely love, this has just been a go-to for me. And I think it's the mix of the lightweight consistency, the perfect color match, and overall just the wearability and just the look that it has on the skin. This is also a foundation that I can wear continuously and it doesn't break me out, which is very hard for me to find. I have very sensitive, very acne prone skin. So if I can, you know, slather a product on and it doesn't break me out, that's kind of a big deal. So I've been really enjoying this. Again, if you want more info, um, go check out my review. Moving on, I have to talk about this guy here because this has been just Ugh. This is the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Palette. I just love that name. Skin Twinkle. It's so cute. I've been absolutely loving this little palette here. So what it is, is it's two highlighting shades and then kind of like a matte. You can use it as a setting powder, which is what I've been using it as. Or, I don't know. 
it doesn't really work for like the shimmery highlights. So I don't really know what else you'd use it for. But I really, really like this combination of products. This one over here, this is the uh, sunlight shade. This is the one I've been using the most just because I do like the more like you know, beigey champagne kind of colors. This one over here, this is more of like a silvery rose color. This one's called Moonlight. This one is really pretty too, but I've mainly just been using this one. I have it on today and then setting my under eyes with this. It is just such a wonderfully textured palette and I love just how smooth and how creamy these powders are. I love how pigmented they are, how they apply to the skin. And most importantly for me, the glow that, you know, even though I'm, I don't wear this rosy color all the time, still when I wear it, the glow and the beautiful just dewiness that it gives my skin is just so pretty and it's so unlike anything else that I own. These to me are, you know, if you tried like the Becca Sherwin Skin Perfectors, these are just like a little bit toned down so they're a little bit easy to wear. Um, they kind of remind me a little bit of like the Anastasia Glow Kits, but for me, these two shades were just better color matches for my particular skin tone and for what I like in a highlight. So I've just been really, really enjoying this. I think the packaging is really cute and honestly, it's what I've been wearing since I've got it. Like I have not been wearing any other highlights because these two have just been absolutely perfect and everything I need. I also wanna talk about another product that I mentioned in my beauty haul video. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I have this in the shade Y23. Don't know if that's gonna pick up there. Maybe. <laughs> but this is a fantastic concealer for anybody who wants something that's going to be very brightening and very hydrating and something that will work especially well on the under eye area. Now I have used this on different spots, acne, dark spots, red spots, whatever, and it does work very well. However, for me, I think this particular shade, just because it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, it's a little bit too brightening for that. I still use it because there's times where I'm lazy and I just don't really care and it still works very well because the coverage on this is insane, but I am definitely interested in picking up the shade that is darker than this just because I think that I could mix them or just use the darker shade on its own for like I said little pimples that pop up or what have you but for an under eye concealer this has been amazing and you guys know I have struggled with the concealer game for such a long time because I am so picky about my concealers I think that I have a really difficult under eye area to work with or I don't know what it is maybe I am just too picky but I just want something that's going to be emollient and hydrating, but isn't going to crease. I want something that's going to be brightening, but isn't going to be like too much. And for me, the texture has to be just right too. Again, if it's too thick, I just don't like that feeling. I find that I tend to get little tiny breakouts on the under eye area if I do that. But if it's too thin, then I find that I am compromising on coverage. So I also need something that's very full coverage because I do have pretty intense under eye circles. And this has just been the answer to absolutely all of those things. So if you just want the perfect concealer, highly recommend checking out the Ultra HD. Um, like I said, the formula may not lend itself super well to spots because it is a bit more creamy and brightening and emollient, but it still does work very, very well for that. I still use it for that, and I've just been really, really enjoying this. The only downside is, is it's kind of small and it's very pricey, but for me, because I'm so picky with my concealers, I'm willing to spend a little bit more, so this is a good one. I want to talk about some ColourPop goodies because I did order um, a lot of stuff from ColourPop recently. Didn't do a haul or anything because while it was a lot of stuff, it was a lot of like the same stuff. So I didn't really feel like it warranted that. But I picked up four of their cream gel eyeliners. I got them in ver various shades. I have Teaspoon, which is an emerald green. I have Punch, which is a bright yellow. Prance, which is like a powdery baby blue, kind of matches my nails. And then Maybe, which is more of a grass green. And I have just been like mixing and matching and doing all different stuff with my liner with these. These are very affordable and I love colored eyeliner. If there's one way for me to like express myself and do something that's creative and colorful, it's usually through my eyeliner because I just, A, I love eyeliner. It's probably one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. And you know, when I look at makeup as a whole, it's one of the things that my eyes are just automatically attracted to. And then when you add these super fun colors, my brain just gets so happy. And so I love, love, love these. The only downside, is that they do crack and crumble a little bit. You know, they're $5. So I think that for the price, they are absolutely fantastic. But just keep in mind that they are only $5. They're not going to be like 
the absolute most amazing cream eyeliners in the world. But, you know, given their shade selection and like I said, the price and everything, I really do feel like these are just really, really solid products. I continue to use them and I absolutely love them. Um, I love mixing the shades and I just find that there's so many really fun things that I can do with these. I would definitely purchase more of these in the future, sort of grow my collection a little bit. The only thing that's kind of a downside with these, with any sort of cream eyeliner is that these do tend to dry out and I don't know if in my lifetime I'll ever get through a full thing of bright canary yellow eyeliner but you know again these are only five dollars so even if I only got halfway through this or even a quarter of the way through this I would feel okay and that's why I like purchasing these colored eyeliners in particular because while I do like to wear them a lot you know I only wear them so much and some brands just you know these can be so expensive and I don't really want to spend like 20 or 30 dollars on something that I might not even be able to use up so these are a big winner I absolutely love ColourPop products and I think that those are amazing if you just want something fun next from ColourPop I have these and these are some kind of like recent launches for them they're the ultra satin lips <sighs> these are just so good I mean, I'm saying that about everything, but that's because all these products are favorite products. But honestly, these have just blown my mind. Um, each time I wear one of these, first off, I get a compliment. Again, I think that these are like six bucks. They're very, very affordable. And I'm literally, I'm not kidding. Every single time I wear one of these shades, somebody's like, oh, what's on your lips? Because the texture and the look that they give your lips is very unique. It's, you know, gives you that full definition and that beautiful effect of a liquid lipstick. And it also gives you that matte appearance, but it doesn't like settle into your lip lines. It doesn't look like you just cement it over your lips. And most importantly, it doesn't feel like that. These feel so freaking good on your lips. One of my favorite shades too has been this one. This is called Petite 4. I've worn this a couple of times and each time I do, everybody kind of like looks and you can tell that they're kind of staring at it. But I love statement makeup. Um, for me, makeup is just how I express myself. And even though, you know, this is a little bit bold, I'm cool with it. I will wear this every day. Like if somebody told me I had to wear this every day, I'd be like, perfect because I really actually love this shade. Um, the other shade that I have is Tulips. This is more of like my typical color. This is kind of what I would almost describe as like a gray rose. It's interesting because it is like a rosy mauve color, but there is like no warmth to this whatsoever. It's very gray toned, which again, I think is very cool. And then this one here in Echo Park. This is more of like a peachy nude color, super perfect for every day. Um, I think that these just absolutely kick the ultra matte lips ass because I really did not like those. I have one shade called Tool, and I really, really do like that shade, but mostly for the color. And even then I find that this tulip shade is somewhat similar. It's a little bit more cool toned, but I would just prefer to wear these on my lips any day over those. I cannot wait to pick up more colors. I will definitely do another uh, order soon because these have just been so fantastic. And honestly, they've been the only lip products that I've wanted to wear, which is why I need more colors because um, even though I would love to wear only these shades, they don't always go with every look. So I definitely need some more pinks and I want some more nudes and I want a red or something like that because these are so, so good. Could not recommend these enough. All right. I'm going to finish up on some lip products and then kind of try to wrap this up because it is getting a little bit long. Uh, I also want to talk about this. This is a very similar formulation to the ColourPop one. So if you want to, you know, find something that you can go pick up at Target or Ulta. If you don't like ordering online, this is a similar formulation. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Again, it gives you that full definition of a liquid lipstick, but it feels you know, a lot more comfortable on the lips. I do prefer the ColourPop Ultra Sound Lips just because I think that the color selection is better. Those look even more like a liquid lipstick, but just have a very comfortable feel. And I don't know what it is. There's something about the look of the satins that I prefer a little bit over this, but I love this color. This is Sandstorm, which is number 07. If you want like that really pretty, like brown nude shade, then this is it. I know that these colors are very on trend and this is so pretty. Like I said, you can get this at Target. It's about seven or eight bucks and I really really enjoy it I've been wearing it a lot it's kind of been like my go-to nude color and I love it and then finally for lips I know I went a little bit lip product crazy but it's because I have just been 
I don't know what it is. I've been on a lip product kick. Like every single time I go into Sephora or Ulta or the drugstore, it's what I've been wanting to buy, which is very strange because for the longest time I was not into lip products. If you guys have watched some of my past videos, lip products were like my least favorite part of makeup, but now they've become my favorite. And this product here, this is another product that I received in a BoxyCharm. This is from Ofra and it's the long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Pasadena. This is, you know, more of your typical mauve, nude, everyday shade. Again, very on trend. Everybody wants these kind of colors, but this is so pretty. The formulation of this spot on. I mean, I am just such a huge fan of comfortable liquid lipsticks. And again, this is what that gives you. This is a lot more moussey than the Ultra Satin Lips. In fact, this reminds me a lot of the... NYX liquid suede because they are they do they kind of almost have that suede feeling they're very kind of moussey in texture and very soft and pillowy is how I would describe these while the color pop ones are a lot more liquidy but uh, I do really enjoy this the pigmentation on this is pretty good it's not I don't know if it's just that it's like a natural shade but it's not like super intense in your face like bold liquid lipstick um and even sometimes i don't know i don't exactly know if i'm describing this right but even like there are nude shades like for example from like the jeffree star line or from the anastasia liquid lipstick line that they just have that look they're a lot more bold they're a lot more intense even though they are a nude color this one i think given the formulation it's just a bit softer it's a bit more underspoken but it still does have that liquid lipstick look so i really enjoy these um i really actually want to pick up the ones from manny mua's collab operation because I really enjoy this one and if those have the same formulation then I think those colors are amazing and I'm totally all in for it so this has been good this has definitely been one of my favorites it's been kind of like my go-to everyday uh, lip recently and then very finally I just want to touch on a product that I don't think I've mentioned on my channel yet but I really need to because I've been literally using it every day of my life and this is the next control freak yes control freak brow gel Again, I picked this up at Target. I think I picked it up when I picked up that liquid sh uh, suede color. And I just really like this. Uh, this is just a good brow gel for the price. Um, I know that a lot of people rave about like the Anastasia one. And I've tried that one in the past. And while I do really, really like it, it's not like so groundbreaking for me that I have to pay that much money. The only downside that I have to this is I wish that they would just release like a smaller brush because this is kind of big. It's a little bit chunky. You kind of feel like you're getting brow gel everywhere, but it still is such a fantastic product that usually what I do is I just kind of take this and I just sort of like, you know, push it through my brows a little bit and then I'll go in with my actual, you can tell here, this is an Anastasia brow brush. Just, you know, a smaller spoolie. This is a lot smaller in comparison. And then that's what I'll use to actually go through and shape and define my brows with. So if there's one downside to this, it's just the size of the wand. But in all honesty, like that's such a minimal thing for me. And I can easily get over that because of the price tag of this and how well this actually works. Like, there are so many brow gels, and even the Anastasia one included, that just feel like shellac on your eyebrows. And I just don't appreciate that. Like, I'm a very expressive person. I like to be able to, you know, manipulate my face and not feel like crunchy because that's just a really really odd experience and a weird feeling so I really like that about this this doesn't do that but it does actually hold my brows in place that is all that I have for you guys today <laughs> you know half hour later I know but the, I just have been enjoying a lot of products and this is what happens when you don't do favorites videos I guess is they kind of all just build up and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't leaving anything out so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, this was a lot of fun for me to do and I really enjoy doing these more kind of like current favorites and I hope that you guys like them as well. I hope you guys have a good day, night, wherever you are, and I will talk to you guys all next time. Bye-bye.